just, they just meet. Now, 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 now. You never even do anything. He said, you are the father. He goes, say, yes. If Bill Gates cut off, say, I want to do DNA to be sure. Now you go say, never. Never. <laughs> DNA will never happen here. <laughs> you defend. <laughs> <coughs> you will defend your right to be the father of that inheritor of billions. You will not be able to wait to sign your name on that birth certificate. I say, if the father contacts say, I want to do DNA, you by yourself will say, never will there be DNA done in my household. <coughs> never will there be DNA in my household. And the girl, the girl's parents are not as successful as you or your family, so you are protecting. I understand that, you know, but it doesn't go to any kind of virtue of men or women or anything like that. It's classes. If you get picky where you don't raise for 10 years, 11 years, you don't raise her for inside house, 13 years, 14 years. Some people say, Hey, hey um, are you just going to stop loving the child? I mean, I don't understand that. I always say that you're just going to stop loving the child immediately. That means you don't love the child in the first place. You know? There are millions of people in this world that adopt children. Whatever has happened, I know busy people suppose say, yeah, carry your nonsense, come up for this house. That means you never had love for anybody. That's why you are happy with DNA. <laughs> Today, I want to hit one person. And that person is my mentor, called She Unkuti. But before I proceed, I will sing a song by Fela Nicola Kokuti. And he sang the song this way. Now truth, I won't talk again. Okay, okay. Now truth, I won't talk again. If I delay you, make you see punish me. Make if I de punish me. Well, 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 well. Now let's pause for a while. You see, I tell Africans this. And there's one problem that I believe Africans have as people. Nigeria specifically, no matter who you listen to, you have to be sure that you can discern for yourself and say that this information this person is saying no is not suitable to me. No matter how intelligent the person is, no matter how legendary the person is, no matter the mantle that everybody put on that person, I do not care if Pastor E. A. Adeboye speak that God talk to him. TB Joshua, rise up from dead and say, God, talk to him. I must pause and think again. I am not a believer. I am a reasonable person. Believe is for the lazy man. Now, when Shewukuti was addressing the issue of Iyabo Ojo and very dark man, he said some statements that baffles me. And that's the statement I'm just focusing on. I love Shewukuti. And I know that no matter what I talk, Shewukuti no go verse, say, this is defamation of characteristic and all of that because, in fact, it's not even defamation. But he made a statement when he said that DNA test is done by the poor people. DNA test does not matter for the rich people. And this is the delusion that I always speak about, that the moment people become wealthy to a certain degree or they buy certain belief system, they want to bestow it intellectually into the mind of other people, other Africans, because that's actually help them to propagate and make them look righteous. It is painful that I am saying it. It is painful it is coming from the mouth of Shenkuti. It doesn't change the reality that what he said was garbage. Now, why do I say that? Make I sit down first. Sex is spiritual. A lot of us can agree to anyone who is spiritually inclined can agree that sex is spiritual. And what do we mean by spiritual? Spirituality is something that affects an emotion and that will bring out into the physical attributes of that individual. I repeat, sex is spiritual because it affects the emotion of an individual that presents itself in the physical ability of that person. Now that means there is a reason if you go to if you, you you say you don't go which prison you say go kiri kiri me I went to Ikoyi prison and in Ikoyi prison thirty percent according to what in my eye they see if I would just do a random estimation. 
are there because they have sex with young children, young people, they women. And when you let a woman or a small child, you have created a spiritual connection that traumatized that person for the rest of their life. Are we enslaved as Nigerians today? But what the British and the Europeans have done to us is still affecting an average Nigerian till today. Even the rich and the poor, we are still suffering the consequence. Slavery, they affect us spiritually. You now say sex is nothing. And I understand where that sentiment comes from. You said that if a man is raising another person's child, DNA, and the person realizes that that child does not belong to him, the person should, you know, the person should uh, accept the child. Yes, I agree. If the man is sensible enough, if the man thinks that it is the proper thing to do to still accept the child, that is the, the, the position of that individual to make that decision. Because the person knows what is important to him. You used a statement, Shemkuti used a statement, he said, if Bill Gates Peking, daughter, shake your hand, and Bill Gates come and he say, are you the father of the child? And she, she said, okay, my, this man that I just shake is now the, is, is the father of my child that I'm pregnant, that you will claim, and you say, yes, so, and if Bill Gates say, make you go do DNA, you will say, no, 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 make you not do DNA. Ha! Huh. Yes, that is only appropriate for a man who is a fraudster. That is appropriate for a man to act if he's a criminal. That is appropriate for a man to accept something that is not his biologically simply because of financial benefits. I think it will be a, a girl without strong mental health, health that look at the resources that her father have and lie that another man who she knows is not a, 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 it's not the father of the ch of the pregnancy she's having and she bestow it upon that individual when her father has worked his ass off to become to get great in his life you are putting the wealth in the hands of another man that you don't know the man that is not even deserving of your father's world you are opening the door for an arm robber to ruin your life what kind of child is that as an african person some of us would disown the child if my daughter do such, God forbid, my daughter can never do such thing because I don't have such mentality to even be stole it. Now, I want to ask you, Uncle this question, and this is going to be sensitive, and it's going to also be, to be offensive. But let us put it, it is just an hypothesis. If you have a daughter, and you will know what you have done with your generations and how your dad has, you guys have built what you've had today with the honor and the legend that Fela is passing it down to you guys, and your daughter come and she says it's another person that gave a uh, impregnator probably she's 20 something years and she was ready to get married and the person is not actually the person that impregnated her would you accept that person eh? will you accept the person knowing it's not the person's um, child there's a purpose behind it and there's a reason why i said sex is spiritual sex can be traumatizing there's a reason why rich people this is the problem i think rich people have when people become wealthy in life you think that sex is just something that you should be buying. You think sex is something that you can just afford with money. Yes, you can afford it. But I want you to understand that that lady, you are buying her with money and you are giving her money. At some point, that lady may get attached to you, not because of the money, but you have used money to bring her in basically because you know she needed the money. Do you think a lot of people will sleep with a lot of people they sleep with if they truly have good relationship with who they have or they are not being traumatized because of their financial ability? A lot of ladies, let me put it to your ear. A lot of ladies would not be prostitutes today if not because of money. Money is the foundation of why we have prostitutions. I repeat, money is the reason why we have prostitutions. Because if most women are wealthy, they would choose the man they love. Love would have played a role. Now poverty, they could bring prostitution. 
So most ladies that a lot of governors and senators and you are talking here about you and the rest of it, a lot of these people will probably not want to have anything to do with some of those governors because naturally they are not in the same level. Psychologically, they cannot be engaging, but because monetarily they needed something from the governor. That is why they will see a, a, a beautiful lady that looks very great will go and see one man that has big stomach that will never do press up. He will never go to the gym and do anything. You just sit on the bench and because you do ha 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 just because it's in a political power those ladies will go and lie down so that they can have money to build the house have money to remove their own generation from poverty so why would you say such things when you are addressing youth in certain area whatever you guys are discussing with vdm me i've already spoken about my own side bit about vdm and what i hate in the aspect of vdm is i love the guy as an individual but it pains me that nigeria turned their back against him whenever the guy is in any situation that is tough nigerians will turn no matter how you help nigeria just like the way baba fella was telling nigerians don't vote this person and the moment the person died now the person did not go vote so nigerians don't care our ignorance is what is keeping us here and i made it clear i said the problem of nigeria is not our leaders the problem of nigeria is our mentality as people you think that a leader can change us only moses would have crossed the red sea no if nobody decided to follow him until you decide to support your leader your leader can never be successful no matter what he does so very dark man trying to help people and thinking he wants to change the culture change the people create awareness of nigerians yes it's fine can he try yes he can try will he fail i believe he will fail and the reason why i say will fail is the same people he's trying to help the same people will turn back immediately something goes wrong with him some guys that never have confidence to even make a video they could not even speak good english they have no confidence because there's no education there's no status for them there's an hatred in nigerians that they are always willing to bring down any of their heroes africans nigerians specifically are like that until you are crazy and they know that you don't hear go come. That is the only time they accept you. Somebody like Portable, somebody like Shionkuti, somebody like Baba Fela. Yes, they will accept you at the point where you they know you are crazy and you would not change. You will not concord to whatever they are doing. So very dark man. I don't know if he's that kind of person. I don't know if he's willing to go through all those kind of stuff because Baba Fela went through all those stuff. And I saw people they turn back against anybody. So that aside. But on the aspect of sexuality, sexuality has to do with spiritual. Uh -uh. they know they spoil juju with sex they know they key man with sex so you go put something for granted let a woman cross it and once the woman cross it if her husband sleep with her or another man sleep with her the man will die is it not spiritual why is it that because some people are doing threesome why is it that because some people are doing threesome then they want to normalize it that dna does not matter when you are bringing things, once you become a public figure as a person, you need to be careful of the things you use as an example. And now, with what Shionkuti says, a lot of ladies will start running around and start telling a man when a man says that, oh, I want to be sure if this baby is my own baby because the man is just starting his life. And she will start addressing the man that why would you want DNA is because you are poor. Shionkuti has already said it. You are a public figure. You shouldn't be saying those kind of things if you have the knowledge that you are supposed to be using to push it down our truth. We can't destroy our own culture and tradition because of some people's desire and pleasure. Anybody who want to do three, some four, some five, some ten, some go and do it and keep it private. Nobody say they go carry you go go um podcast. You go come the talker, or they will be able to persuade you. You will not say it, and then you now think that because you say it, because you are very intellectually and educated in certain areas, that means we have to buy into whatever you are saying. Use better example to talk to us. Don't be bringing such things because this is corrupt our people. Now the people go say, waiting they vest me inside. Yes. Waiting go vest me inside. Waiting go vest me because we can see a lot of women today who are getting pregnant in our society. They don't even know the man who impregnated them. And so such statements can reinforce to say that I can do it whatever I want to do. Since I'm doing it because I want money, I can put it on the head of anybody. And we are creating more confusion. It is spiritual. Because the moment you don't assume that sex is spiritual and you just have it carnally with anybody you like, look.
look at Western people that always try such things now. Sex is nothing. That means you can have sex with this today, have sex tomorrow. Everybody's look at their mental states. Nigeria are crazy. We are still in slavery mind. And you still want to add that Western madness to our madness. <laughs> We are already on the tree of pepper. Don't let anybody climb the tree and bring, bring us down. So while you guys are talking, focus on your issue. DNA is important. Let me say this. If you, we were kings during the time when there were kings and, and prince and all those things, and there was Orisha. You were the one that used to talk about tradition and culture. When there was all this Orisha, Orisha no go pie the person where he, 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 he wife go the go the go the sleep with another person, come bump picking one given to king so that he will become the king after him after the man. If you are not the bloodline of that person, you need to go. If the man wants to welcome you, fine. Because all these things you guys would always want to separate the rich from the poor. You always say that we have poor mentality. And because we think you, you are telling us we have poor mentality, you want it to make it feel as if poverty is the reason why um, there's morality. So if there's wealth, if everyone is wealthy, there should be immorality everywhere. Look at Dubai. Yes, Dubai have certain immoral um, things that go on around there. You may say there's a lot of gay in, in that place, but it's not what they publicize to their society, and there's no, that's not what they publicize to the world. If there are, there's even money in Dubai, they rather hire from Western women. They don't play with their woman. Their woman, they keep the body of their woman sacred. And because the traditions and culture they have, the way they protect their women and their children and their family, that's why Dubai is where it is, because where people protect their family, that culture and that tradition succeeds that re um, um, region of people or that country will succeed. But the ones who start saying that you can turn my daughter into man, you can change this into this and change that into that, you don't give a damn about your children. You can't protect them and you're saying, oh, I can even call a black man to come and sleep with my wife and all of that. Then you have what is happening in the Western culture. That's why you see people like Joe Biden. <laughs> you know, they become a joke at the end of the day that is now trickling down to their power household. So the man now, because people are not thinking properly, and Nigeria, we are suffering. We are suffering as people. Don't be bringing all those things. You know, people will say, hey, you have brought this, why will you bring this? This out of all what he said. That's what, what I'm saying is that Nigerians, when you are listening to people, try to discern for yourself because people would always say things that doesn't matter, that doesn't make sense. And if I do the same, yes. Point it out. That's all I would say. When you are revolutionary and you t talk the truth, people will come and slap you down. And then you talk the truth again, they'll lock you in jail. They never hear anything at all. Then go here, pansa pansa. When you are revolutionary and you t talk the truth, people will come and slap you down. And then you talk the truth again, they'll lock you in jail. Them never hear anything at all. Then go here, pansa pansa.